demo run through. Uh, we've got some demo systems on the software so we can run you through basics of uh, what we have on there. So we've got a 2016 XD Apple. And we'll just run through the main sections we've got available in the self-diagnosis section. So the first section we have is the ABS. See the faults on the example here. So we've just got the parameters in here. This is just the pressure measured by the ABS system. And then in statuses, we've got anything that's on or off, or open or closed, or any status that has two-way activation. Move into ECU info, just general information. System in the ECU. Next, we have the activation section, so we can just check uh, IMU system. We, just, uh, we can't do that in a, in a demo mode. Unfortunately, I don't have one accessible to get to. And all these settings that can be done as well, which uh, again we just can't do in a demo mode because we're not actually connected to anything. But uh, to give you an idea of what's available in there, so that's the uh, the ABS system. So uh, all these different systems have got different functions available. The ABS system here, and then we've got the Faults to the uh, fault code area. Pop into the parameters. So we've got nine parameters in total here. Gives you an idea of what we can see in the BBS system. So you can check things are working and operating. So we could spin the wheels, for example, and see that data moving. And we've got no statuses. So this just gives you the conditions of the systems that are in the section. Back into ECU info, so that's all the same as, as before, different uh, versions and software installed. Activations, anything we can set to activate to test that it works. Again, we can't do those in a demo mode. And the settings, things that we can change the settings of or reset. A lot of these are things that we needed to do on replacements, components, or turning things on and off if. Uh, there's only particular functions available. Okay, so that's the BBS system. So next is the Bluetooth system on this particular bike. So again, just into demo mode. into the hands-free system. Again, straight to faults. It always goes straight to the fault code screen. The status is anything on or off. ECU information and on the settings, uh, storing new keys. Again, we can't do much with that on this demo mode, but that would be the menu to get through with instructions to store a new key. And then we're on to the instrument panel.
Now we're going straight to false no code. We can go over to uh, the parameter section. see the information provided to us via the dash with uh, various parameters that are available in there so we've got the temperature, days, uh, and there's the date as well that's registered in there. Back through to statuses, things that are on and off, lights, high beam, low beam, indicators, you can see those changing off to on. So we can click on that button and graph that format so we can see easily that uh, the EC was at least telling the indicators to Turn on and off. See the settings for the traction control. And then go through and check various buttons <coughs> that operate correctly uh, by pressing them. See if they're working. Just a very way of, very easy way of checking any systems. If it's a button that turns something on or off, you can press the button and view the reaction in the software to see if the button is actually doing its job. If not, then, uh, a dirty contact or faulty wiring or a bad connector. So it's quite an easy, quick way of seeing if the button is operating. If someone says that something doesn't work, at least you can see if the button works. If the button doesn't work, then Start your diagnosis from there. 30 contacts will be a common thing on the switches on the handlebars. Uh, activations and then setting. So again, all your service intervals are in, in here for clearing lights on the dash. They are all available in various sections within the software. The main section is in the maintenance service section. We'll get to that in a separate video. dashboard and then we are into the main petrol injection system. Faults with all the parameters, 78 parameters in total here. available there. Uh, then we're into statuses, again anything that's on or off, whether that's controlled by hand or by the system, so we can nice and quickly just run through that and see if things are doing what they should be doing. If any, any of those are button activated or some system on the bike we can manually operate those and see the status so you can see clutch switch. So the clutch is being pulled and let go. Same with the for brake switches. Just a very quick and simple way to make sure that any particular switches are working correctly. It's 
46 status is in there, so it's quite a lot of information available to you. So it's just an easy way of checking things without pulling a multimeter out. You can see if the switch works, the button works, or the lambda sensor is being heated on the startup phase. Things like that. Activations again, anything can be switched on and off for testing procedures, so we can activate the coils, activate the pump. Various systems we can turn on to make sure that they are working. And then here in the settings, self-adaptive parameters, a lot of those need resetting at service time, um, not just a case of turning off service lights. Uh, so thanks very much. Uh, there'll be another one for the rest of the sections on that bike.